Hello and welcome to today's episode that deals with the Press Information Bureau. Our expert today is Sunita Bhaseen, educationist, environmentalist and the director of Swami Sivanand Memorial Institute working on school education and empowerment of women. In this program we are going to talk about the Press Information Bureau which is the nodal agency of the central government to disseminate information to the print, electronic and online media on government's policies, program initiatives, welfare activities and achievements. The Press Information Bureau is an interface between the government and media, facilitating communication between the two. It acts as a bank of official data and provides background information to all media for launching multimedia campaigns, indicating trust areas and hence acting as a consortium leader. We shall understand Press Information Bureau better by learning about its history, its functions, its organizational setup and details of each unit for better implementation of its functions. The history of Press Information Bureau can be traced back to the first World War years when a central publicity board came into existence under the home member of the colonial government. Later, a cell was set up in the home department in June 1919 under Dr. L. F. Rushbrook Williams, a British historian and civil servant who spent part of his working life in India. Towards the end of 1920, the cell was rechristened as Central Bureau of Information and Dr. L. F. Rushbrook Williams became its director. The designation of the head of the bureau was changed from director to principal information officer in 1938. Jay Natarajan became the first Indian in 1941 to be appointed as principal information officer and the organization's name was changed to Press Information Bureau in 1946. The bureau's function as visualized by Dr. Williams were first, to present material in the form required by the press that is news stories. Second, to provide an agency new service reporting facts without comment. Third, to exclude any material of a communal nature. Fourth, rigorous exclusion of political or controversial nature except when attributable to a definite source. Upon attainment of independence, the Bureau was not only to give factual information on the programs, policies and activities of the government but was also entrusted with additional and more delicate task of interpreting those facts and government policies. With the advent of sophisticated media related technology, expansion of government activities and varied media requirements, the role of Press Information Bureau has become more complex. The functions are now defined as communication of information about government policies, program and activities. Feedback on how these policies and activities are received and to advise the government on its information policy. The Press Information Bureau employs a variety of means to discharge its functions of putting out information on government policies, programs and activities. These include release of written material, photographs, press conferences and briefings and conducted tours. Press releases account for a substantial part of the written material issued by the Press Information Bureau. They include press notes and handouts, backgrounders, press communique, features and newsletters. To perform these functions, departmental publicity officers known as DPOs of the Bureau are attached to various ministries and they are expected to communicate to the media their day-to-day -day activities. As a part of visual publicity, Press Information Bureau also arranges a photo coverage of various government activities and functions. A large number of photo prints are supplied to the print media to supplement written material. Press Information Bureau also conducts press tours to development projects for an on-the-spot study by journalists. Such tours are conducted from the regional or branch offices as well as from the headquarters. The Bureau also facilitates access of the media, both Indian and foreign, to official information by granting accreditation. As on date, there are more than 1500 accredited media persons at Press Information Bureau headquarters. Press Information Bureau also analyzes the reactions of the press on topical issues pertaining to various ministries and other important economic, social and political issues. 
The Bureau prepares a daily digest of news and views with special emphasis on editorial comments and articles carried by the print media. These digests are prepared after scrutinizing the national dailies, periodicals and feedback material received from the regional and branch offices of the Bureau. It is now important to look at the organizational setup of Press Information Bureau. We all understand that for any institution to work smoothly, it needs a strong administration. Press Information Bureau is headed by the Principal Director, General Media and Communication, Secretary Level Officer, assisted by DG, MNC and additional DG, MNC. Below them are the Departmental Publicity Officers, which are the DPOs, Directors, Joint Director, Deputy Director, Assistant Director and MCO. The Departmental Publicity Officers are attached to different ministries and departments to assist them in dissemination of information and giving feedback on the people's reaction as reflected in the media towards government policies and programs and giving professional advice to the Ministry on media affairs. They brief the Ministry and Secretary on important issues appearing in the media. They attend important meetings and functions conducted by the concerned Ministry and issue press releases or backgrounders, arrange press conferences for the Ministries or Secretaries or senior officials of the Ministry for important announcements. Media people are taken to senior level functionaries in the Ministry by the Departmental Publicity Officers for formal and informal briefings. Press Information Bureau with its headquarters in Delhi has 8 regional and 34 branch offices linked with each other through modern communication facilities. The regional and branch offices disseminate information emanating from headquarters in their respective regional languages. They also provide independent information and PR support to various government organizations in their jurisdiction and to the visiting government functionaries through press conferences, press releases, press visits and other media instructions. Departmental publicity officers of the Bureau are attached to various ministries and they are expected to communicate to the media their day-to-day -day activities. Press Information Bureau supplies a large number of photographs dealing with the activities of the government to all important newspapers. The publicity of Ministry of Parliamentary Affairs and of the discussions on the working of the various ministries and departments are handled by Press Information Bureau. Media and Communication Officer or Deputy Director of Press Information Bureau is on regular duty in the press gallery of each of the two houses of Parliament during its session. To attend to immediate publicity work received in the Bureau after office hours, an officer is available in the newsroom duty from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. on weekdays and from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. on holidays throughout the year. There are two wings of Press Information Bureau. First, Publicity, second, Administration. The Publicity Department has number of units to meet the demands for smooth functioning of Press Information Bureau. First, Unit Supporting Publicity, Press Relations Section PRS, Press Media Section PMS, Departmental Publicity Section, Feature Unit, Feedback Cell, Photo Unit, Hindi Unit, Urdu Unit, Administration Wing, Administration 1 section, Administration 2 section, Administration 3 section, Vigilance, Cash section, Budget and Account section, General section, Office Automation section, Receipt and Dispatch section, Official Language unit. Each unit has multiple responsibilities. First, to process the applications received from media person for grant of accreditation or renewal of accreditation. Second, to make hospitality arrangement for journalist in the interest of official publicity. Third, to process the application received from headquarters or branch offices of Press Information Bureau for conducting of press tours. Fourth, to process the application received from accredited media persons for allotment of government accommodation under the press pool. Fifth, to process the application for granting financial assistance to journalists from Journalist Welfare Fund. Sixth, 
conducting of press conferences and press briefings. Seventh, to issue necessary certificate of accreditation to accredited journalists seeking facilities such as custom duties, exemption for import of professional equipment, railway concession, etc. Eighth, to grant special accreditation to media persons on the occasion of national and international events like IFFI, Pravasi Bharatiya Divas, etc. Ninth, to coordinate and conduct press tours. Journalist having five years of experience, he is eligible for PIB accreditation. He has to apply it through his organization where he or she is working for and the, uh, uh, the letter uh, from the organization goes to the PIB. P there is a committee in the PIB which consists of uh, uh, senior journalists. This committee, uh, first the applicant of the journalist is sent uh, for police er verification. It takes about uh, a week uh, for the police verification to complete. Once the police verification uh, is uh, completed, this process is completed, then the application along with the recommendation uh, uh, by the police is sent to the committee. The committee after uh, going through the merit of the case decides whether uh, to give accreditation to a particular journalist or not. First, policy regarding government relationship with press organization, foreign publicity organization and maintainers of information about newspapers and news agencies. Second, purchase of newspapers for headquarters office excluding defense wing and information center. Third, evaluation of publicity, publication of magazines, periodicals by foreign companies following FDI in print media. Fourth, Indo-Pakistan Information Consultative Committee. Fifth, Parliament Questions, Coordination of. Sixth, Matters Relating to Conference of Information Ministers and State Directors Conferences and Conference of Ministers Information of Non-Aligned Countries. Seventh, Cultural Exchange Programs with Different Countries and Joint Agreements and Joint Commissions. MOUs Relating to Information. 8th, National and Integration Work. 9th, All Matters Relating to United Nations and its Organizations. 10th, Press Legislation and Press Codes. 11th, Intermedia Publicity Coordination Committees. 12th, Committees, Conference, Councils and Seminar, Recommendation Reports, etc. 13th, Press Advising. 14th, Matters Relating to Diaspora. 15th, all matters relating to SARC. 16th, subscription of news and feature agencies. 17th, engagement of persons on casual assignment basis for outsourcing miscellaneous publicity work. 18th, processing of bills of writers, translators, consultants, Urdu computer operators, etc. 19th, purchase of photographs. For every journalist working for whether it is television or print, PIB is a uh, very important department in the sense this, uh, that uh, this uh, department gives you an authentic information about policies, about decision, about statements by the different ministries of the government. The PIB, uh, suppose uh, if a journalist, if important meeting is taking place and journalists who have access to the members who are attending that meeting. Uh, they can get the information, but the correct, authenticated, validated version of the government will always come from PIB. So that is why every journalist, it is mandatory for every journalist to visit the concerned ministries, PIB offices, interact with the press information officer, try to elicit information from him, which are, you know, which are uh, uh, purely, which, which are very authenticated, which are very validated which are it, it doesn't have any color because PIB will give you the press release in a, in a, in a very what you call old form of a press release which will contain information and it is up to the journalist to interpret according to his own and uh, uh, wisdom what to lift pick it up and how to uh, use this press release. First, correspondence with ministries and departments. Second, planning of publicity in Hindi and Urdu including correspondence with language newspapers. Third, publicity campaigns through branch offices including headquarters. Fourth, returns from branch offices relating to publicity items. 
Fifth, coordination of action on minutes of principal director general's meeting with officers, streamlining work of press information bureau, instructions relating to weekly, monthly and annual meetings with offices. Sixth, technical publicity rules. Seventh, purchase of books for regional and branch offices. Eighth, supply of material for MIBs, budget brief and performance budget. Ninth, supply of material and updating information on press information bureau to various annual year. Tenth, correspondence relating to distribution of official journal and gazette of India. Eleventh, arrangement for the distribution of general budget and railway budget. Twelfth, holiday notices. Thirteenth, meetings held by MIB, Secretary, Ministry of INB and Principal Director. Fourteenth, general media and communication with press information bureau officers including issue of minutes. Fifteenth, mass media national and international. Sixteenth, action on official languages Hindi returns. Seventeenth, live sketches. Eighteenth, list of central ministers, state governors and chief ministers etc. Nineteenth, gazettes of India. Payment of annual subscriptions. Twenty, MIB references. 21st, miscellaneous publicity matters. 22nd, control chart of press releases. 23rd, duty roster for newsroom duty. 24th, preparation of annual report of press information bureau. In this age of internet, in this age of uh, social media, in the age of Twitter, Facebook, and uh, uh, the boom of you know uh, the internet, uh, it is true that the information travels much faster than what one would think of. Uh, a guy sitting in USA can flash the information to anybody in India uh, or somebody say from the government minister uh, sitting in Meghalaya, if he want to disseminate particular information, he can get it done through the internet. But despite all this, PIB has his own uh, role to play. In the sense that is as uh, this particular organization of the government, it is it does a PR work for the government. PR work means it the job of the PIB is not just to uh, what you call supply random information to the journalists, but the job of the PIB is to supply good information of the government, put a correct positive image of the government to the uh, to, to the media and to the public at large. The objective is in because there are many people who will have their own take say on for instance on a prime minister people might have their own take on the prime minister but it is the PIB who, uh, which will give you information or the press information officer which will have his own uh, perspective uh, uh, the perspective which will reflect which will the perspective of the government so in that sense the press information bureau's role is very critical and significant for all journalists press information bureau's feature unit is responsible for issuing comprehensive write-ups on all aspects coming under press information bureau's publicity purview they include the activities going on in different central ministries and departments. The contributors are both in-house or journalists specializing in different subjects. Features are released on Press Information Bureau's website and on hard copy. They are widely used by newspapers in all languages across the country. Apart from regular features, which reflect different programs and policies of the ministries, special features are issued on Republic Day, Independence Day, and the completion of one year of the government on request from Principal Director General on any topic which needs to be highlighted. Compilation of feedback report is done on a weekly basis. Photocopies of the feature which have been published in the newspapers are sent to concerned DPOs to be put up before ministers and secretaries. Every month, the unit also issues feature on the topic suggested by the Intermedia Publicity Coordination Committee of the Ministry of INB. The feedback cell prepares a daily digest of news and views on each working day, which is sent to the PMO, President's Office, all ministers and secretaries to the government and to senior officers of each ministry or department. 
the information is culled from national papers, regional papers and prominent magazines. It provides comprehensive coverage of the news of the day along with specific comments on emerging issues, particularly related to programs and policies of the government. Apart from local newspapers, material received from regional and branch offices is incorporated in the digest. A weekly media report on economic issues is also prepared on each Monday and is sent to the PMO. The cell also produces special digest on emerging issues which require the focus of attention of the PMO and concerned ministries including the minister in charge. Prominent among these digests are the union budget, the railway budget and the economic survey. In addition, a weekly digest on public concerns is also prepared highlighting the difficulties faced by the cross-section of the society which otherwise should derive the benefit from government-sponsored schemes and programs. The cell also contributes to various projects handled by the Bureau each year. Keeping records of day-to-day -day news photos released, Second, attending journalists and visitors in the photo library and selection of photos. Third, coordination of publicity officers including press information bureau, regional and branch officers to supply them old photographs as and end when required. Fourth, maintenance of photo albums of more than 8 lakhs hard prints as old albums have been in a dilapidated condition. The PPU sits late in the evening to complete the day-to-day -day photo releasing work of VIPs like President, Vice President, PM, Cabinet Ministers, visiting dignitaries from abroad and other official functions of different ministries around the year. The pictures are selected, captioned and put on the net for the worldwide release. Apart from this, the help of the photo division is taken to make the hard prints which are again captioned and distributed physically to the press. PPU coordinates with the photo division and other ministries for the coverage. It maintains the record of the incoming and the released photos. The net is manned from morning till evening. Due to exigencies of work, PPU functions from morning to late in the evenings till the work is over on the working days. Apart from this, the unit is open on all holidays, gazetted holidays and festivals. Translation, wetting and preparing of digest from Hindi and Urdu newspapers and periodicals and wetting of Hindi and Urdu translation from releases, features, articles and speeches of the President, Prime Minister and other VVIPs and VIPs, general budget, railway budget and economic survey and other important assignments occasionally. Also providing assistance in wetting and translation at PM's office and residence in connection with the speeches of the Prime Minister. Lizen with the Hindi and Urdu press and offering of hospitality to Hindi and Urdu journalists attending to their complaints and problems regarding press matter, accreditation, etc. and coordination of publicity in Hindi and Urdu newspapers, scanning and monitoring these papers and periodicals of Delhi and other parts of country for their content. Updating the daily and all India list of Hindi and Urdu newspapers and periodicals and other miscellaneous assignments given by the senior officers. Translation of press releases from Hindi to Urdu and English to Urdu and vice versa. Proofreading of press releases and features. Monitoring from Urdu newspapers which include UNI, teleprinter, record entries of features. Special duties include railway budget and film festival duty and annual NRI conference, etc. The functioning of all the units with their multiple tasks depend on officers and employees. It is important to look at their powers and duties. All administrative and financial powers delegated to heads of departments of Government of India under the delegation of financial powers rules are available with the Principal Director General MNC. Further, Powers of the head of office have been delegated to the deputy director administration. Second, officers of Indian information service at different levels from media and communication officer to additional director general MNC function as departmental publicity officers. 
they are attached to different ministries and departments to assist them in dissemination of information and giving feedback on the people's reaction as reflected in the media towards governments policies and programs and giving professional advice to the ministry on media affairs they brief the minister and secretary on important issues appearing in the media they attend important meetings and functions conducted by the concerned ministry and issue press releases or backgrounders arrange press conferences for the minister or secretary or senior officials of the ministry for important announcements media people are taken to senior level functionaries in the ministry by the dpos for formal and informal briefings third publicity relating to information dissemination on behalf of various ministries and departments of government of india is carried out by officers of indian information service in the press information bureau in accordance with para 119 of the manual of office procedure of the government of india om number 1 and 4 and 72 muc dated 23rd 11 1972 of ministry of inb under technical publicity rules under 1997 of pib anyone can obtain a copy of the rules regulations instructions manual and records for discharging functions from the director press facility under the rti a manual on pib is available for all information In today's program we have learned what constitutes the press information bureau looked at its history functions and its large network across the country and the globe we also understood the importance of such an organization and how it is an interface between the government and the media and tries to interpret each story in an unbiased manner that is all we have for you today goodbye